Reporting for NPR News, I'm Paulina Samaniego in El Paso. With the rapid evolution in technology, the journalism field is experiencing a lot of changes. Journalism in July is a summer camp for high school students all over the border funded by the Dow Jones News Fund, the Communication Department at UTEP, and Borderzine. The 21 students this summer had the unique opportunity to learn different forms of media outlets and technology. The program introduces the students to very talented, experienced journalists, so there's no question why they chose former anchor Nick Miller to run the 2010 program. Journalism July is a uh, high school, is a workshop for high school journalists to teach them uh, the various aspects of multimedia journalism from print to, uh, you know, still photos to uh, video. The students were able to see what a career in journalism is really like. Some of the many things they learned was proper ways of writing a story, how to conduct an interview, how to produce radio spots, and they even visited KVIA as they filmed their 4 o'clock newscast. I think the most, well, the most influential event on me was probably going to KVIA, because when we visited KVIA we were able to see how, how hectic being a journalist or, or a reporter is. You realize how hard they work, how many hours they put into it, but you also realize how how cool it is. Like just being there on the set was really cool and being able to see Estela Casas was cool too. Another real world aspect of journalism is the stress of meeting deadlines and dealing with stressful situations. Mike Brooks, the logistics coordinator at the program, has witnessed firsthand for many years how the students become friends and bond so much with each other because of the situations that they are put in. We have 21 people coming from all parts of the city in Juarez getting together in a strange environment, uh, working with each other throughout very long days, and they manage to bond very quickly. It's a very uh, stressful situation. The dorms, how everyone just like goes and meets and hangs out like in a specific dorm or something, and we all just like, have, like one night we had scary stories, and we all just sat together and said our scariest stories, and. It was all dark and creepy and just someone would knock on the door and you're like, oh my god, what was that? have past uh, participants come in and visit with us. We still maintain contact with uh, students from the first year that I was here. And it's a good opportunity to get to know people, maintain contacts, expand your horizons. The students also hope to keep in touch with their new friends. I hope so. We were all talking about continuing the magazine or the online our thing that we're doing like continuing writing stories and keeping it up and hopefully we can do that and we don't lose touch because everyone is great and we had a good experience. 